Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. The 2015 World Junior A Challenge got underway today in Ontario. Team Canada West opened up the tournament against Team, Team Czech Republic this morning in Coburg. Well, it was a great start for Canada West as they thumped the Czechs 7-3. Lloydminster Bobcat Troy Van Teetering set up Lloydminster boy Tyler Bush for one of the goals. Bonneville Pontiac forward Bobby McMahon, he had a goal and an assist in Canada's win. Canada West is back in action Tuesday at 5 p.m. versus the United States. Also, the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats, they wrapped up their doubleheader with the White Court Wolverines last night. The Wolverines once again were able to defeat the Cats, this time 5-3. Defenseman Cole Joseph Chack and forward Zach Giroux and Morgan Messenger had the Bobcat goals. Matt Gervais, DeAndre Watson, Eric Pedersen, Corey, Sant uh, Corey Santoro and Eric Cranky had the Wolverine goals. Pierce Diamond, he made 30 saves on 35 shots in the loss. The Bobcats are back in action Wednesday when they travel to Sherwood Park to take on the Crusaders. And the Bonneville Pontiacs played their second of three straight road games last night. After losing in a shootout on Friday, the Yaks were defeated 2-1 yesterday in overtime against the Calgary Canucks. Eric Donald had the lone Pontiac goal. Kyler Magnus Magus scored for the Canucks and Andrew Marshall played hero as he scored the overtime winner. Well, the Yaks, they wrapped up their three-game road trip in as many nights right now. They're facing the Okotoks Oilers. It was 1-0 for the Oilers. We will have the full score for you at the late night. And also the Junior B Classic Oilfield Bandits were up in Cold Lake this afternoon, taking on the ice. They're looking for their fourth win in a row. The Bandits, however, they were short-staffed as they only had 12 skaters in this one and dropped the game 6-3. to three. Jesse Stansfield had two goals and Calvin Koska scored the other. The Bandits' next game is this Friday for their annual Pack the Bus Night versus their Highway 16 rivals, the Vermilion Tigers. In the Midget AAA Bandit Pipeline, Bobcats wrapped up their two-game road trip. Today, they were in Strathmore taking on the Foothills Bisons. This one was a goaltender's duel. It wasn't until the third period that Jackson Kaluski was able to solve the Bison goaltender on the power play. The Bobcats outshot the Bisons 28-22. Dane Dow stopped all 20 sh 22 shots for the goose egg and now has a 7-1 record on the year. The Cats are back in action Saturday at home versus the uh, Knights of Columbus Pats from Edmonton. Puck drop is 145 at the Civic Centre. The Lashburn Lady Lobos wrapped up their annual Christmas Classic last night with a 72-28 drubbing of the Paradise Hill uh, Panthers. The Lobos went 2-1 on the tournament, giving them the championship title. Ryan Klein had 19 points in the championship game. Also, Damar McKevitt had 16 points to go along with 11 rebounds. The Lady Lobos have a 6-1 record on the season and two tournament championships. And sticking with championships, the Lloyd Cont Barons boys basketball team repeated as the Brandon Sun Spartan Invitational winners after they defeated the Glenboro High School 70 to 35. Zach Wilson, this kid, is an animal. He had another 30 points in the championship game and was named tournament MVP. He definitely deserved that. Kirk Hahn had 15 rebounds in the final game and was named to the tournament all-star team as well as Wilson. Barons went a perfect 5-0 on the tournament. And this is the second straight tournament championship for the Barons in the last two weeks. 